fix this. We're gonna go to a create lights and grab a point light. And let's increase the attenuation radius. And what I want to do is to create like a blue light, something like this. Just like that. And I can create my blue light. I can put it here. And then I can move this one and move it here. And I can actually on purpose move it so that I can see a shadow here, which will make it much more interesting. Like if I if I were to put it like for example here, it's like you lose a little bit of touch there. So shadows are very important. This is what I did here. Because I want to see the shadow here, everything is bright, but if I check a little shadow here, I can distinguish these elements between this part and this part, and this will actually make it look better. So what we want to do next is to make the objective stand out. Um, the way we do this is by using co complementary colors. Instead of blue, if you see this one, the complementary of this color should be around here. Okay. So if we go here and actually increase the intensity, automatically you will know that this is the main objective because these ones don't have it, and this one is brighter. And even if we remove the, this material, we know that this part has a different color from this one. And this is a great way we can, we can use to stand out our objective. Of course, this is a very extreme example, but just by having con complementary colors, you instantly see here because you cannot help the fact that this color is the opposite of blue. So this is a very old school trick. It, it's being used everywhere. So this one is very, very nice thing to do. And you can actually do another thing. If you don't like blue, you can go red. And you can go red here. And now you can see how everything looks like red. Just like that. And my main objective doesn't stand out too much. Well, the complementary color of red is green. So just by doing that, you will see here easier, okay? You will see Christmas. Now, you will see Christmas. In the air.